Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. We're doing your, oh my God, it is your April. Okay, we are right on the dot on the money. Okay, on the money train, the money train, the money train. So anyhow, welcome to my channel. Uh, we're doing your reading. If you're new, um, welcome. Okay. Um, but first, of course, the Libra has a little bit of a tutorial, okay, compared to the other zodiac, because everybody likes the coaching. So I do, I do like, a, I do look like a coach, okay, but I don't fly coach. Just saying, okay. <laughs> first class, please. Okay. So anyhow, um, since Venus is exalted and that is your ascendant, Lord, if you are a Libra ascendant, I want to. Uh, tell you guys about why I made the incense kit. This is the manifestation one. We have five kinds. There's a tutorial video also in our website. But anyhow, in connection to Venus, because it's exalted um, until April 7, exaltation means it's bringing more, let's just say it's performing to its much better frequency, okay? So it, it's, it's, it's there. It's happening. It's popping, okay? She loves where she's at right now because it's in Pisces, okay? So the incense, what I do, okay, well, I really don't do it because I'm not trying to manifest it. <laughs> if you are manifesting it, okay, not me, okay. <laughs> See, I'm honest right here. Um, incense, okay, next to your bed, if you're talking about um, romantic connection, love, you know, before you go to bed, but make sure, of course, don't burn yourself, okay, because then there's no more love there, okay. <laughs> so that's what the incense is about. The scent, the floral scent, you know, the, you know, Venus's perfume, you know, luxury, of course. Um, also, that's good. Uh -huh. So that one, um, perfume at night is Venus. Perfume in the morning is for the sun, okay. But incense, okay, also works, okay. So do check it, okay. But you can have your incense already and then just, you know, make sure that you're lighting it at night in your bed. Don't leave it unattended, okay? But of course, with a little bit magic, you can get it at my store. Feeling cute, might delete later. Okay, <laughs> okay let's begin. <laughs> now, the reason why I want to focus on Venus is because it's exalted. So it only happens once every year, okay? So this is the time, okay? She's, it's in her highlight, okay? She's having a good highlighting day. Okay, until April 7. So you got me? Okay. So order now. We have restock. Okay. <laughs> I'll put the link down there. Okay. Oh, Oracle card first. Yes, please, Sal. Yes, please. Okay. Love my Libras. Same thing I say to my Aries. Same thing I say to my Taurus. Love my Libras. Okay. How's everybody? Okay. April already. Man. Okay, oh my god, so I remembered something that is in April. Oh my god, the tax collector is April. Okay, not the IRS, a different tax collector. <laughs> it's bloodline, it's called. Patience is what your first card here first. So the Libra, okay, right now, I was charging my phone. Okay, the Libra right now is having a patient moment for this coming. Um, you know that Saturn is also ruling the letter P? And Saturn is exalted in Libra. Okay, so you got all this exaltation that I'm teaching you right now. Okay. So how come my romantic connection is not exalted? <laughs> we don't know. Okay. <laughs> so you guys have to be patient. Everything um, Saturnian, you have to wait it out because it's guaranteed. Okay. So let's just say you have Saturn 7th house. Just wait it out. It's going to come. Maybe delayed, but it is going to come. Okay. Um, you have the yin and yang. Aw. Okay. So you're waiting for someone, you know, to be a complementary to your life. You're waiting for the yang to your yin, you know, you're waiting for the yin to your yang, which is good. So you're waiting for a karmic balance also. This is what it is. You're balancing your energies. This is the feminine masculine. Um, they say that the right is the left brain, the left is the right brain, but how come the person I date has no brain? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> you know my joke here, okay? Because they're neither a yin or a yang, so. <laughs> they're just the circle, I think, so. Okay. With the woman holding a heart, you have so much love to give, Libra. So much. This is a very important time for you, if nobody has ever told you that, okay? You need to embrace this because your sister planet, basically, well, sister, you know, not sister, um, your ascendant lord again, okay, is, you know, Taurus and you should be having a bomb. No, Taurus is being bomb right now because Mars is there, okay? <laughs> it's a different transit for them. With the magician in the mirror, I told you to manifest. You gotta start working on this love of yours, okay? This is the perfect time. Perfect time for you, okay? But I don't know your chart, but as the guides would say here with the oracle, yes, magician in the mirror. You know the mirror is Rahu. Mirror also is Venus, 
because you take pleasure looking at yourself and you know all those things but you know you have love over here so you have heart so it feels like it is a time for you to keep manifesting this person it's the day it's the day it's the day okay now um of course venus is not just relationship so you, you guys know right so venus is abundance prosperity it's like jupiter jupiter is you know prosperity and abundance venus is the same thing so if you're saying so i want to manifest coins success oh darling you are in the right spot go do it okay if you're doing foreign trade also because 12 house of spices um this is the best time for you okay open that online store why not okay you might also meet a foreign person since venus is in the 12th house or travel opportunities is there okay good thing venus doesn't bring us to the hospital because the 12th house is hospital <laughs> so here we go it's more of like um vacation so watch how people right now starts to take vacation out of no reason they want to feel uh good you know uh, let's see here okay and if you guys like my coaching you can tell down there in the comments sal thank you for the coaching okay and then the office will tell me okay here we go you got a six of swords all right so right now everything is in the back burner i just want to move forward with my life and that's my goal got it loud, loud and clear because i gave up on love three of swords <laughs> okay what happened okay what happened <laughs> I don't know, so <laughs> first thing we were doing good, and next thing I know, we're done and separated. Okay, that happens. I know SHIT happens, and there were SHIT sound because mm -hmm. you felt like I was, you know, taking advantage. I didn't have my voice in the relationship sound, and then when I voiced it out, I wasn't heard. So now I just ignore them. Okay, so that's that. Okay, let me see. You got the moon, which only means that. Um, I oh okay. I should open my computer next time so that I can see your chart. Okay. Sometimes it talks to me. Okay. Next time. Uh -huh. With the six, with the three of swords and the moon card, it feels like you have a tendency. Okay. To um, overthink. You worry. This you worry about the separation. You worry about what will happen to you now, and you know how devastated you are. So a little bit hard time for the Libra today, huh? With the four of pentacles and the moon. You're trying to hold back on your feelings, emotion, and then you don't want to cry it out. Heal the cry it out. Let it out. And then go shopping, okay? okay. <laughs> Four of Pentacles, and then you cry out because the credit card. <laughs> oh my god, the credit card. So I don't know which one hurts. Because okay? Four of Pentacles, you know, you need to start saving, okay? Because the moon card is credit, okay? Mo the moon is credit, okay? Because it's an imaginary cash flow that you don't have. So don't spend what you don't have. That's the moon, okay? That's why for me, no credit cards. Mm -mm. With the seven of wands here, okay, so that I do not activate the planet. Does it make sense? Things in our life, okay, has a reason and it associates with the planet, right? So it not existing will not manifest. Hence the monks, okay, go up there so that they're free from their karma and nothing affects them. Exactly, right? So one thing is credit card. Mm -hmm. But swipe first to get my incense. <laughs> I'm just being real. <laughs> the death card over here. The upper management told me to push it. I have a quota today. <laughs> With the death card over here, okay, it feels like, yes, you give up. You feel the pain. This is the occult. This is the Scorpio house. Of course, this is now, um, this is your second house, right? Libra Ascendant, Scorpio second house. I mean, like, right now, it's a little bit challenging because with K2 over there, it, you know, like, things around you, for some reason, it's just being ripped off left and right, okay? Before, the family supports you. Now, chances are the family is less, okay? There's not much people there helping you, okay? Aunt and uncle, probably, okay? Um, and then, you're also trying to save K2 in the second house, which is your savings, right? K2 is exalted in Scorpio. Rao is in, you know, eight, and now you have two and, uh, uh, two and eight, okay? So, there's now unforeseen expenses that might come to you. Okay, so it's not the best time, Hilda, to spend, okay? And if you're married, chances are the person is really gonna, um, I feel like you might get the, you know what we call the alimony, okay? <laughs> King of Swords is lawyer up, okay? So if you're divorcing, the best time. <laughs> there is no best time to divorce, okay? Let's stay the marriage, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles, you felt like this was too slow. Eight of Pentacles, it's never gonna happen, Sal. So you really give up. You told him, I'm done dealing with you. I just want to focus on my work and my um, other responsibility. Because the Eight of Coins looks like you're busy. You're busy. You want to get back on the career mode, okay? 
high priestess. Okay. So it feels like what you're doing right now is totally like they, they're not, it's not their business because you're just really staying in the background. You're not a participant anymore. Okay. Two of coins and the page of pentacles. Um, it feels like um, there are days where you want to say, I'm sorry. There are days that you want to say, it's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> there are days like, you know what? I should have said this. And then there are days like, you know what? It's best that I don't say anything anymore. No. So you're, you're being a Gemini. Okay. Make your mind. Okay. Six of Wands are a Virgo. <laughs> and the Sun card. Right. So what matters for you right now is to heal yourself, be successful, and then dreams. You know, Talk to people. Six of Wands. The Sun card. There's so many people who likes you, wants to be around you. But I feel like you're in the stage of healing. Three of Swords and the Six of Swords, right? With the Sun, of course, this is amazing time for you. Okay? Um, you're receiving now more and more um, like your accomplishments keeps getting up, up, up like that. It's very good. Okay. And the Knight of Swords. Mm. So after everything that you've done that you don't want to talk to them, you have one thing to tell them. Okay. I'm not sure what it is, but this is a hasty um, message that you're about to drop to the person that you have given up. I'm not sure what it is. But it feels like for some reason, there's going to be a day or you want to text them, or you want to call them, or you want to see them, because you want to give them, I'm not sure if it's clarity or just a conversation, but something that you want to express. Okay, because you were in limbo before. Okay, so that's it for the Libra. I tried to make the Libra readings a little bit well-rounded, because I'm very well-rounded right now. Quarantine way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I'm a fruit, Definitely, I'm not going to pass for Coca-Cola right now, okay? <laughs> it looks like I'm a Coca-Cola 2000. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, time for me to go to my workout, <laughs> okay? Link down there for the extended. We'll see what is this message about also and how they're going to perceive what you want to tell them. Um, I know you're being patient. Maybe the patient has run dry and you want to voice it out now. We'll see what the other person is about and what the, what's the advice of the tarot. Follow me on Instagram at Salbedora. Make sure you check out my um, incense kits, okay? It, I'm going to put it in the comments down there and then help yourself out. All right, I'll see you guys again. Bye.